Um, you. You're who I wanted to talk to. I don't know. Take it up with the nut consortium or whatever. I don't. I'm just reading websites, Mel. I didn't come up with this crap. There's a consortium for everything, Mel. We're entirely ruled by shadow consortiums, right? Bitterly cold when you first came to our city, when I stood waiting for you before the Ark of the Worthy. To think that was where it all began. Now much has changed since that day. Forgive me. Of late, I've been studying the works of the Palladian poet King, who wrote, "To he who ask of things to come, give thought to what is past and gone." Uh, con shadow consortium, meaning in the shadows now amazon is literally anything but so rarely have we the luxury to reflect on the choices we have made and how they've shaped our lives and the lives of others even i mere steward whose deeds would not merit a footnote in the annals of history see the value in this i say this to you master shade because because as you move so too does the world Pray spare a moment to contemplate your journey while you can. The road stretched on, obscured by an endless veil of snow. Somewhere in the white beyond stood the great iron gates, at the other side of a humble manservant, who awaited the coming of three travelers. I've never done this before. I don't know what to expect. Natural Crozier. Oh, welcome to you, Master Shade. What do I have the pleasure? Facing your steps from those first days in Ishgard. Let's see. Well, no one could regard you for indulging in a little nostalgia. I'm reminded how much I owe to you and yours. Lest you forget, foreign merchants were subject to a frankly unreasonable level of scrutiny until relatively recently. Not so now, however. Now goods from every corner of Eorzea flow into our markets. And that, my friend, is a change we can all appreciate. Nations of all nations speak a common tongue, and its words are coin. Needless to say, there is little profit to be had in prejudice, especially against those who have received the patronage of a count. Thus, when the wards of House Fortomp arrived, she was glad to make their acquaintance. Retracing our steps. Okay. Forgotten night. What's up, Gibri? What'll it be then? Al? Waldwine? No, 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 don't tell me. Tea. I could go for some tea. Uh huh, so it's to be memories then, is it? Now there's a bit of drop that'll leave you wanting. Assuming you can remember your own name, that is. Take your friend, Tataru. Well, no, but she's just another girl waiting on customers, clearing tables, and so forth. Next, she's got a dozen admirers asking out after her every bloody night. I'll be damned if I can remember how it happened. 
It's Tataru. She's amazing. Singing those stupid songs, dancing those daft dances. Uh, to be honest, I think it was her stories that really won him over. Stories of certain heroes' grand adventures across Eorzea. Told with a flair that put a minstrel to shame. Who doesn't love a good hero's tale, am I right? Else, we've even got one about the man who built this tavern. One of the founding fathers of Ishgard, or so it goes. Now, as the Enkiradon told it, besides Hadroth, the only knights who survived the battle with Nidhogg were the founders of the High Houses. Of course, these days we all know better than to put too much stock in the words of the church, eh? But there's more to a tale than just words. There's a sword, too. One which has been passed down from proprietor to proprietor since before anyone can remember. She's a rusty old bugger, but if you look closely at her handle, you can just about make out an inscription. Brothers brave and true live well, forgotten and content. A man who forsook wealth and fame and chose the life of a humble tavern keeper. It's just a tale, of course. Be it a good one. As for the truth, who can say, friend? Who can say? He knew everyone's story, though he would never share his own. An optimist, he wanted to believe in the best in people. Sometimes that faith would be rewarded, other times betrayed. But he would listen regardless, and he would hope. Talk to him, and then we ended up going to Falcon's Nest and Cloud Top. On it is down there. Master Shade, I was just, it was but this moment thinking of you. I had hoped to speak with you at Sir Emmerich's investiture, but circumstances conspired to prevent me from attending. Mayhap you'll allow me to know, say now, what I w could not say then. On behalf of House Helenart and all of Ishgard, I offer unto you my deepest and most humble thanks. You risked your life to stand against our sworn enemy, and freed us from a millennium of torment. Though we can never hope to betray you, we'll ever remember you and your deeds. That our children and their children's children might know the man to whom they owe their lives. <laughs> I can see that the Grand Investiture would have been a more fitting occasion for such words, but I could not risk them being left unspoken. What brings you this way? As you can see, Camp Cloudtop remains much the same as it did during the war. Though we now need, long, need no longer watch the skies for Dravanian outflyers, the Vanu, Vanu have proven themselves similarly worthy of our attention. I say, old boy, you have the most uncanny ability to appear wherever I least expect you. She's not that into you, dude. But enough about that. Alright. <laughs> yes, my lord. Later, Leniat, I am pleased to report that we succeeded in infiltrating Vundu territory and there observed the beastmen harvesting crystals at several different sites. Based on the volume of crystals acquired during our period of surveillance, I've prepared an estimate of how much time I believe it will take the Vundu to gather sufficient crystals. For another summoning. I have also taken the liberty of drafting several proposals outlining how the Rose Knights might prevent such an eventuality, such as raiding these sites and securing their stores, as well as a detailed assessment of the risks involved should you choose to proceed. And eh? 
carry. Gathered you were clever, but I was not aware you were capable of this. Respect you're wasted on your master. Hardworking, full of potential. Aye, I think there's the place for you here. With the Rose Knights, if you would have it. That you would even consider taking me into your service is a tremendous honor, my lady. And were I free to do so, I should gladly accept. But in pledge to another, as you well know. Regrettable, but understandable. I take comfort in no the fact that a youth of your talent and character will never want for opportunities. Pledge to another, you rascal. I thought I saw you whispering in Yun Salu at Solet's ear the other day. You certainly wasted no time wooing our newest maid. There are many sneak secrets between us. You must tell me everything. Where you've been sneaking off to together, what adventures you've been having, every little detail. And don't you dare leave anything out. And Elaine, can you go over that way now? I'm sure he will not. In any event, you have jointly exceeded my expectations. Grant you leave to return to the city. Should the need arise, I shall call upon you again. Thank you, milady. I believe we shall do as you suggest. Until we meet again, Master Shade. Not so fast. The next airship isn't due for another hour, and we have so much to talk about, Honorai. Honorai! For all the ladies' disdain, it was an old, familiar dance. To him, to her, Lord of Monolane would always be the boy fumbling for a compliment. Perhaps there was comfort in that. The memory of home on the bleak frontier. I assume that was next. Stories, with old friends. A thousand pardons, Master Shade. Had I known you were planning to pay us a visit, I would have seen that you received a proper reception. A feast, perhaps, or at least a formal welcome with men in full dress. You more than earned it. Money you'd only look to the pilgrims who come in their droves to pray before the relief to see the truth of that. Some abide in silence. While others shed tears. Not for sorrow, you understand. But joy. Joying at being released from Nidhogg's torment. So, Redwall? The shipment has been unloaded, and the quartermaster confirms that all supplies are accounted for. Mr. Shane, are you here on official business? Journey to remember and reflect. I much has changed since we first came together. Since I abandoned you to follow the heretic's trail alone. Come, my lord. Mayhap you recall the survivor whom you carried back to Falcon's Nest that day? His wife but recently gave birth to their first child. So, well, well, mayhap I should pay him a visit. Though he would doubtless be honored, my lord, you need not put yourself to such trouble. Your responsibilities as count surely have little enough time, leave little enough time as it is. still me, and you are still you. Whatever our respective titles, I would speak to you as a friend. This preoccupation with position and power is so no end of discord between our two houses, to the great detriment of our nation. 
fact is especially galling when one considers that much of what we have achieved is by virtue of our blood and not our character. So call me Count if you must, but know that I take no pride in it. We have one day when I've earned it, I will, but not today. Still himself, is he? Non for honorable man, mindful of tradition. He was loath to accept the assistance of a foreigner in exile. When forced to confront bitter truce, he looked within and find up, found himself wanting. Pride be damned, then, if it led one astray. But set aside his prejudices and join hands with this gifted outcast for the greater good of Ishgard. Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Law. Back into Ishgard? Back into Ishgard. Pirates. Why'd it have to be pirates? Oh wait, pirates are awesome. What am I talking about? Uh, sending to Imperium. Towards the firmament. I'm gonna grab these real quick. Oh, welcome. I've been awaiting your return. Seem, after you helped bring an end to the Dragonsong War, we were striven to rebuild the city. And thanks to the assistance of countless craftsmen, our efforts to restore the firmament to its former glory are finally complete. And how, in fact, how Samuel assembled a team of masons so skilled and efficient that they were able to con finish the construction of an entirely new quarter. Its name is Imperium and it was created to serve as a res residential district for adventurers from across the realm. No amount of description can truly convey its splendor, so I have asked Thalmalin to escort you there. You must see for yourself. Seek him out the broom when you have a moment. That will unlock the residential district in Ishgard, which is actually a relatively new addition. This is something else we've been waiting to have unlocked. The notice reads, Workers sought for the firmament reconstruction projects. Smaller letters, it continues. Let it be known that large-scale reconstruction works aimed at revitalizing the Holy See of Ishgard have been approved by the Houses of Lords and Commons. Selected as the principal site for the project is the firmament district, which sustained extensive damage during the war. Willing and able hands are now sought to contribute to the reconstruction effort, regardless of birth and origin. For those skilled in gathering from the land, to those adept at creating with their hands, the project's needs are great and diverse. Contributions will not go unrewarded. Interested parties are invited to present themselves in the firmament. According to the note at the bottom of the notice, a man named Thomalin in the broom will show you to the district. And that is the firmament, which is a useful zone for leveling crafters and gatherers if you don't want to do leave quest spamming. Um, are you? Obviously we're... Oh, there. It is a instant zone where you get like 90 minutes a there is a limited amount of time you can spend there. You can gather, craft, turn it in, get Sky Builder scripts, and buy things with those. And there's some unique stuff in there, including a specific color of blue dye that I want. Two foreign heretics against two knights of the heavens ward. Under the watchful gaze of the fury, they would fight. The murder's claims would be proven true. It was the opening gambit of a greater game whose stakes would remain unknown for some time.
Poplin. This is still just part one. Good lord. Like that, maybe? Master Shade, if I am not mistaken. You've met, though I'm sure you do not remember. It was a seeming lifetime ago when you answered the Archbishop's summons. I often come here to reflect upon all that has come to pass. When I saw you gazing at the Holy Vault, I thought perhaps that you had too. You turned our world upside down. Everything we hold dear. Change. For the truth. They say it had to be done. The disgrace sought godhood. So, then perhaps it was a fairy's will that you prevail. To say it. To believe it. I know that no man is without sin, but he is pious and humble. Boldly devoted to the church and to his people. I knew him, sir. I apparently just randomly whacked my keyboard. And somehow managed to hit a button I didn't even know existed? Walk the righteous path to live for the sake of others. To rise to the highest station. Remain powerless to bring an end to your people's suffering price salvation then sacrifice beyond reason for uneasy lies the head that wears the crown I didn't even know there was a button to progress quest text oh we're going all the way back to Limsa okay 